all are aware that the Indian film industry is one of the largest manufacturer of films. We produce more than 1,000 films in a year. But we hardly see good scripts in the Indian films these days. Like, once in, a we, once in a year we get a film like The Lunchbox or Raman Raja, but we get more of childhood scenes like Chennai Express. So why the scripts from the drama and theatre world are not coming to the Indian cinema? What is the reason, man? Possibly one might want to make a distinction between, you know, um, the, it, like not all scripts can function in the same way, just as uh, Neelam has been pointing out. So, um, a, you know, a classic, as it were, a realist classic like uh, an Ibsen, may be done in ways which has a shot through by, by what is seen as popular. So I don't know whether one can say that there is a, there could be a transference of a, um, you know, a text which becomes it's all seen as high art. I mean, I think some of the interesting, what would you call Gangs of Wasipo, for instance? I mean, it, it goes, it traverses the whole lot. So I think that maybe one has to re, reorientate how one looks at the place of script in a, in a, in a, in, in, in making a, a, an artwork. And I think that uh, they, they, I don't think there's a formula which will point out this has all the ingredients of high art and this has the ingredients of popular art. I think there is a crossover. And I think presently, if I might hazard this, I think this is a very interesting moment in Indian cinema because it seems to do a crossover. And it is able to uh, make, so lunchbox is something that, you know, is very different from the 1970s Sara Akash, for instance. It's completely different. But it's, it is able to deal with something urban every day in ways which is very special, but I don't think that one should make that as a dominant high art form. It isn't that. So I think maybe one has to rethink that. I don't know, Neelam, if you would add something? Um, I, I agree with you. I think it's quite interesting um, phase that Indian cinema is going through. Uh, you do have a wonderful film like Titli, Masan, uh, which have I think they have also commercially made a buzz. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like Gans of Vasipura is a wonderful example. Even Dave D for that example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a Dave D on one side, which we all enjoyed seeing. And we also perhaps enjoyed seeing Sanjay Leela Bansali's Dave Das. So I think in a certain way, the mind is like a kaleidoscope. You know, it can absorb yeah. many kind of experiences. Um, um, uh, you know, there is something known as, I think in theatre, I don't know why, but why we think that entertainment is not a very nice word. <laughs> you know, I think to be entertained is very significant. And as Brett said, it, it, to entertain and to instruct, you know, I think both dimensions are very important. Um, so I think some really interesting scripts are being written. Uh, some, uh, uh, you know, even if you take some what you would call, you know, which are kind of balancing two spaces and you kind of wonder how you're going to travel through these two spaces like Dear Zindagi you know where it talks about uh, something to do with uh, childhood trauma or whatever even though it was a little self-indulgent but uh, 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 but you know I mean it's trying to it's trying to explore like fan I really enjoyed seeing fan um, so I think there is something that's happening and uh, uh, it would, uh, I think, you know, like Anuradha many years ago had done Sahib Bibi or Gulam, um, where a film script was made into a play. So that kind of thing is also happening, which is quite, uh, which is quite magnificent how you can kind of travel. Yeah. Um, uh, and as, as I said earlier, even when you take a so-called well-made script, there's so many ways you interject and you change and you... Um, localize it, you make it travel uh, because translating a script is not only about language, it's also about how it, how it kind of moves, you know, how it locates itself, how you create new references and you choose those kind of scripts which have the potential to create new references. Yeah.